way from London, Mike Reed from M Restaurants is joining me today to cook a very special dish using Wagyu. Yep. Spoilt today. Really <laughs> are. One of my favourite steaks to cook. Yeah, and we're going to be serving this with a parsnip puree. Mike, for those at home that don't know, what distinguishes a piece of Wagyu beef? So Wagyu is all about the marble, that beautiful marbling you've got coming through the beef. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's what Wagyu's about. Mm. It's the breed which just gives you the maximum flavour in yeah. cattle. And because it is so rich, you really don't need that much Not to be all. satisfied. <laughs> Not at all. Like, in Japan, they eat it in very, very small amounts. Yeah. Like, this is an indulgent piece, but, yeah. you know, I'll share. It's the perfect amount for the two of us. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get started on the parsnip puree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get the parsnips cooking down okay. in some milk and a little a bit of butter to begin with. Usually when you think of making a puree, you want to pop it in some water or your root vegetables in water and then bring it to the boil. But doing it this way, we're going to get quite a concentrated flavour, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. It's going to be really creamy and rich and, mm. you know, you're going to get maximum flavour out of that yeah. parsnip. It's actually quite a nice accompaniment to go with uh, that wagyu because it's almost got this fresh Parsley-like flavour, would you say? Yep, absolutely. It's from you the know, same family, it's same it? family, same family. It's parsley, same family as carrots. Yep. So it's that you know, it's a little bit of sweetness, but that earthiness, that you know, real herbaceous sort of flavour mm. as well. You know, I love par parsnips with desserts. Is also incredible. Yes. You know, it's one of those things that really transcends both yep. savoury and sweet, yep. which is beautiful. Nice one. So that should take around ten to twelve minutes to cook down. With the steak, you want to get your pan up to a, like quite a nice high temperature first. We're going to start with a dry pan because mm -hmm. you want there's so much natural fat within the steak already with Wagyu. Mm -hmm. You're going to render that down and that will help the caramelisation process. I know. So also as well, when you're cooking things like sirloin, mm -hmm. start with the fat to the top. Okay. So then as that renders, that will melt down into your beef and give you that extra flavour. Another little trick, with wet aged beef like this, yep. season generously one side. Because mm -hmm. as it cooks, the natural pores will open up right. and absorb some of that salt. You'll get a nice crust on it, and as you turn it over, the excess salt will fall off. Ah, I've already learned so much within that few minutes. Incredible. And we've also brought out the Wagyu ahead of time, and that's probably another 100%. important tip to mention. Yeah, so important. Whenever you're cooking, like, steaks or any meat, really, always cook it from ambient temperature. So at least half an hour out of your fridge. Yep before cooking. Nice one. So how long are we going to cook it on the first side? So it's probably about four minutes first side yep. and then about three minutes second side. Mm -hmm. But start with an intense heat and then just before you turn it over, you should reduce the heat down from high heat yep. to like a medium heat. Yep. And that's when you start adding in your butter and your thyme. Gee. See, cooking a steak is not just cooking a steak, nah. particularly when we're <laughs> cooking Wagyu. If you're cooking Wagyu, you don't mess it up. <laughs> so you've got to watch it. So we're going to add in the butter now. Okay. And then when you add in the butter, just a little touch of oil. Mm. Do you already to... see how much of the fat is coming out That's of the wagyu it. there? Like, I always try and teach my chefs never to, like, don't be touching the steak constantly. You can always see mm. from where the brown comes yep. um, to, you know, how far along it's cooked. Mm. Oh, wow. So that's a beautiful colour there. So Justine, you can pass me the thyme? Sure can. A few sprigs of fresh thyme in there. There's no better smell than cooking oh. beef with fresh thyme and butter. And now at this stage as well, we can get the onions in. Okay. Straight in half. Just a little pickling onion. And then, because you've now added in that extra fat, we want to baste it as well at the same time. Oh. So this way, you're cooking the beef from both sides and you're keeping it nice and moist and juicy and you're putting all of that fat and flavour that's coming out of it right back in. You're really showing off now, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Justine, I'll get yes. you to do the parsnip puree for me. It would be my pleasure. These onions are ready to come off now. You just want to colour them one side. Oh, wow. Such a simple technique to do. Oh, so simple. And there's so much flavour in the onion. That's it. And I'm just going to drain this because we probably will use this liquid. Is that Absolutely, right? yeah. Yeah, always keep the liquid. And then as the parsnips um, being blitz, mm -hmm. we put that liquid back through and we can just adjust it with water if we need to. Nice one. So in they go. Oh, they smell good. Constantly reminded to use parsnips. 
sometimes you forget and then you just see yeah. them come into season. You're like, oh, I've got to use them. They are so delicious yeah. and so underused. So underused, so versatile. And like with things like this, you know, you can keep the peelings. Mm. Like keep the peelings, roast them off in the oven, do some parsnip nice. crisp with it as well. So you Speaking get almost... of uh, layers and peelings, what are you doing there? That's quite interesting. So I'm just taking the petals out of the onion mm. so that as we're plating it up, we can just dot them around the plate a little bit. So you know, good. got to make it a little bit chefy. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, I'm going to blend this. So I should I put a little liquid in Definitely. now? Definitely. Yes, chef, in it goes. Splash. Touch of salt. Touch of salt. Done. Beautiful. <laughs> I've got to have a taste. Oh, yes. Looks so rich. Do mm. it. Whatever you do, I want to do. Delicious. Oh, so good. Mm. All right. Phenomenal. Pretty much ready to plate. Okay. This so. is where I get very excited when any chef <laughs> comes in to watch them almost create art on a plate. There we go. So I'm one of those chefs that I like to make a mess <laughs> when I plate. So you all want to stand back a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, well, Mike. <laughs> A little bit of a splatter. He really is an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Just have fun with it, you know. I like it, yep. Sometimes food can be taken a little bit too seriously. Oh. Look at that beautiful medium rare. That is cooked just right. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> you. Little chef's treat. Of course. Mm. Mm. I mean, it's just delicious. It's juicy. Juicy. Mm. That is rich, a... tasty. You're not mucking around there. A meat of that calibre is just something that's so special, and it's a real treat. I mean, I'm Absolutely. very happy to go without meat for a whole week just to have a few pieces of that delicious wagyu. Absolutely. <laughs> like we should all probably eat a little less beef, but when you eat it, eat the best. Absolutely. You know, and this is beautiful. All right, well, maybe we should um, have another taste, but with all the components, right? Absolutely. <laughs> OK. And you don't even need a steak knife for this because yep. it's just so beautiful. Over here. Puree, some of the onion. Love this little idea of the onion. I'm going to steal that idea. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> Everything is perfectly balanced. The meat, it's amazing. But with that puree and then the sweetness from those onions that have been yeah. caramelised, it's like the ultimate. I'm a happy lady, Mike. I'm a happy lady. When you're here, I'm happy because this is delicious. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> you're welcome. Might have another taste.